Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Dude 2 here, and um, today um, I'm going to share a bit of information that uh, you might find useful. I'm going to talk about my everyday carry multi-tool called the Leatherman Wave. See you in a minute. Welcome back. Um, the thing is, it happens all the time. You go about your normal day and you need a tool. It happens more than you think. In fact, when you start carrying a multi-tool or a knife with you, you'll realize how often you would actually use it. In fact, I use my multi-tool, I would say, every other day of the week okay now of course um, different people different lifestyles um, you, you know you may use it more you may use it less I have kids um, uh, I, I use this specifically for kids a lot um, but I want to do um, a brief review on the Leatherman wave I've had this for about two years um, so I got some practical experience with using it all the time, and I did a lot of research trying to figure out which multi-tool uh, was right for me. I don't know exactly what the price of it is now, but it was around $100, I remember. It seems very expensive for a multi-tool. Um, many reasons why it's not that expensive. Um, for one, uh, Leatherman... Uh, has really good customer service. I've heard stories of um, any issues uh, Leatherman takes care of, so you're paying for the customer service. And um, I beat the crap out of this thing, and it's still going very well. So um, you really do get what you paid for. Before I had this, I had various Walmart uh, type of cheaper uh, multi-tools and even some nicer ones. But, I mean, it, nothing compares. They either hurt my hand or they're too bulky. Um, but for various reasons, um, I never regretted spending the money on this. I had to save for it, and I had to do a lot of research to figure out which multi-tool had the most useful tools for my life. And there are various different Leathermans, and I'm sure they're all very good. But uh, for various reasons, this one um, has the best set of features uh, for an everyday carry kind of watch by everyday carry I mean you know just like it says you always have it on you okay so um, real quick let me go over this this clip here uh, it's a belt clip so you can clip it to your belt but you could also pop that out and add um, a little circle here where you could tie a string to it and you can carry it you know hanging from a string um, it's a different attachment um, so this did not come with it I bought this separately um, it came with this and a little attachment for a string depending on how you do it um, you could also buy um, a case for it if you want to carry it on the outside I prefer to carry it in my pocket um, so uh, let's be, try to be brief here. I'll go over um, some of the, the best the best things about this. In my opinion, the very best thing about it is you could flip open a knife just like a regular knife, and it locks. It's not going to cave back in and cut yourself. Okay, so we have um, a knife that is ser serrated for cutting seatbelts, rope, um, you know, things like that. And if you flip it around, you also have a non-serrated knife. And these knives are um, a type of, uh, I believe it's a type of stainless steel. You see mine's got a little bit of, um, uh, uh, what's it called? 
it'll come to me. But uh, like I said, it's been used, but that'll come off with a little bit of polish when I sharpen it. On the outside, you also have access to a file. And what's cool about this is you have a fine file on one side and you have a coarse file on the other. So if you want to find file something like a fingernail or if you want to file something like uh, iron bars, you see it's got very coarse um, with it. And again, it locks. So you don't have to worry about that, the fact that it locks. It locks with this ingenious system. It's locked and you push this down and it unlocks. You hear it a satisfying click and it locks. And on the other side, I've used this a lot um, doing electrical work, a saw blade. Um, it's about as little shorter than your pointer finger and it's very sharp. I've used it to cut drywall, I've used it to cut wood, I've used it to cut rope. Um, you know, pretty thick pieces of wood and, it, and it, it's very um, sharp and these teeth uh, you know, do a very good job of digging into what they uh, need to do. So uh, it cuts very fast and efficiently. It's a very nice tool to have. Um, like I said, I use it for drywall, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so that's the outside of it. Then it opens up and you have, you know, most multi-tools have this, but what most multi-tools don't have is a very thin uh, needle nose. I mean, this is very thin. I picked up staples very small things with it um, very good grippage you could use this as a wrench um, for hex bolts and such and it also has uh, wild wire cutters uh, right in there so you can cut wire with it I've done it works good okay and what's really cool is there's uh, it's it's soft here it's not harsh a lot of these is very harsh but I could squeeze this and open it and squeeze it and it's not hurting my hand at all. So it's a really good design. Um, another thing a lot of people don't know is there's measurements here in inches and looks like, uh, yeah, centimeters, inches and centimeters here. So you could use this, it goes up to uh, about eight inches. So you see there's a uh, measurement again, uh, it has helped me before, I've used it, but most of the time I forget I have it. But a lot of times you just need to measure a couple inches and uh, there it is. Now, um, you also have tools inside each of these sleeves here. So we have a can opener. Obviously, if you're doing a lot of outdoor stuff, the can opener is pretty awesome. And then this is very cool. We also have a screwdriver but not just any screwdriver. You know, it locks just like everything else. And to unlock these, you push this button. So it locks, unlocks. So what, what's cool about this is it's very flat. You see it's flat, but it fits in any standard. See how flat it is? So it fits and also you could pull it out and you have yourself a flathead, standard size flathead. So, and there's also various um, attachments, which I'm going to show you in a, uh, in a few minutes, uh, that you could put in here also. Okay, so let's go to the other side. Let me just flip this over to the other side. We have a few things. We have a, a, a flathead slash kind of pry bar um, for getting under things. It's just a flat um, a flat piece of metal for prying or it, it'll also fit like a large screwdriver. Um, we also have, and this is cool, a tiny screwdriver in both Phillips and flathead. Ooh, I can't see. There we go. Oop, I cannot see tricky doing this. There we go. Phillips and flathead. Uh, it will fit your eyeglasses. Um, it will also fit uh, toys if you need a small screwdriver bit for some of those uh, really small toys to uh, put batteries in and out. Um, so that's very cool. It's the only multi-tool I found that actually had this. And then 
we have a pair of very sharp scissors that what's cool about these is it's a one-handed action. So you can close this up, take your scissors and cut one-handed. Now, a lot of, I, I didn't think I would use this, okay? But I've actually used it before. Um, I was, uh, I don't remember what the context was, but um, there was ribbon that needed cut. And so I just came over with my scissors and whoosh, cut the ribbon, no problem. The next one, whoosh, cut the ribbon. People were using, um, you know, larger scissors and it wasn't cutting. You know, the ribbon was like wrapping around because they were dull, but these are very sharp. And I ended up just taking my multi-tool off of me and cutting the ribbon with it. And I also um, cut out uh, with paper with it and it's fairly comfortable. It's small, but, um, you know, it, it's much more useful than a knife in a lot of situations. Okay. Um, so that's it for, um, my review. It's very durable. I've dropped it. Um, I've used it for all sorts of things. I've banged it up. It's comfortable and it has a lot of, um, a lot of features. Now I'm going to go away for a second and I'm going to come back and show you the extra thing I purchased for it. So hold on a sec. Okay, I'm back here with the um, Leatherman case. Um, I'm almost positive it came with this case, but I'm not entirely sure. But um, an extra attachment I bought, I don't remember how much it was, but I bought these uh, bits, various bits, every type of bit you could probably ever imagine. There's Torok bits, um, large flatheads, very many flatheads, um, many different sizes, and they fit right in here. They fit right in here. You simply pull this out and you stick one of these in. Stick one of these in, see? Um, another cool thing is this attachment here. I have it set in so it won't fall out. So I have it kind of wrapped around a little. But I tend to overdo it. I do a lot of wood stuff. So I, I made it so uh, getting it out was difficult. I'd rather have it difficult to get out than uh, fall out. Um, but here's an attachment you could you, you set this in here and then you have um, a hex head and you also can set your various little bits inside let's see if you guys could if that'll focus up a little bit for you there you go oh, let's see okay um, also what's really cool about this is as you could see, it will also fit other bits that you see laying around. So say you see a traditional bit laying around and um, you know you don't have a handle for it or nothing, you could just pop out your Leatherman and get it right in there. It's very awesome. Um, the leather case has a hole in the bottom. I'm assuming that's because you might want to leave it open for whatever reason if you use it a lot. So this will stick out and this will close and then you can just reach in and grab it like a pair of pliers. That's my assumption. But it also has a separate compartment which is used to fit these bits. So everything fits real tidy and they pull out real easy. You slip your bits in, slip your bits in there, and then on the side you slip your extension in. You also have something you could put here, a, uh, I don't know, like a fire starter if you're into woodsman stuff or, I don't know, spare battery for a flashlight or an emergency something or something else that would help you every day, a pen or pencil maybe. And then it, you also have your spot for your multi-tool. Fits right in there as well. And everything fits. 
It is uh, bulky. That's why I started carrying it mostly in my pocket. But uh, it's sturdy. And now, um, one final thing, because I'm trying to be as helpful as I can, is uh, I'll compare it to, uh, I'll give you some visual comparisons. This is a Sheffield kind of hammer um, tool, multi-tool that was bought for me as a gift. It's got like two different knives, um, maybe three different knives, and it's got a hammer built in, which is kind of cool, but it's gross and it's huge. And this thing pokes you when you're walking with it. Um, I also have a really cheap, I think uh, Walmart sold these in a three pack. So I got like this knife, it's like a generic Swiss army knife. And I got like this multi-tool where when you open it up, this metal right here, it hurts, it hurts your hand when you use it. And notice the needle nose on it is not very needle nosy. It's flat, uh, it doesn't go into a lot of detail. There's cutters but it don't look like they're wire cutters. Um, very little cushioning and um, it doesn't have scissors. It does have a very, look it just fell apart. Look, oh yeah, I caught that on film. Look at that, it just fell apart. So you kinda, you kinda get what you pay for with these uh, Walmart things. I wonder if this one's gonna fall apart too. No. Okay, so, but yeah, this is going in the trash, but um, just so you could see, here's the cheap saw with measurements on it. And oh, a little file on the side to try to get that, but uh, I don't know what the name brand of this is. Uh, maybe it's on one of these, so I could tell you what the name brand is, but I've had it for a few years, but it just mostly sat in my drawer and it just fell apart so that's a that's pretty cool got to catch that on film and then uh this is a Sheffield so um it's kind of a name brand for Walmart stuff it's got a nice spring here this is the one I carried for a while before I upgrade it has a nice spring it's a bit more comfortable but it does still dig into your fingers and it's got a lot of nicer stuff it actually has a nice Phillips bit um, can opener and uh, a knife and it's lightweight as you can see the uh, construction's cut out it's also got a file there it's got um, a serrated blade and it looks like two identical uh, maybe bottle opener slash uh, I don't know why they would give you two. I guess it's better than nothing, but you, you can see it's very lightweight because it's all clear in here. Uh, and the needle nose are a lot better. So I want to say I may have paid a little bit of money for this. And it comes with a nice case. It folds up real nice. I do like having the uh, spring. It's just something I could break and pop out, but having it is pretty nice. But this is what I upgraded to. This is much lighter. Um, you could tell the difference in the weight. You can tell the difference in the size. I'll give you a size comparison real quick. Um, this one's kind of like a butterfly look. This is much more compact. This has a lot of like open spaces. Things could get in, in there, in your pockets. You know, large bolts, um, spring right there. Stuff could get in there. This is all very compact, very tight. Um, and it, it's, probably twice the weight in my estimation, maybe more. And it has twice the amount of tools. So um, it, my recommendation is that you spend the money on one of these Leathermans. This is the one I've tested and I recommend. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful to somebody. Um, I know it's uh, different than what I normally do, but um, I keep this with me all the time and many times I needed to open a package, cut a rope, change batteries at somebody else's birthday party. They'll say, well, I, you know, 
hold on and we'll look for the little screwdriver or whatever and I'll say I got it and I would just take the toy while the kid's unwrapping the toys and I would use the knife to pop it open, cut off the uh, uh, what, the zip ties, cut open the package, flip it out, go in here, uh, use the cutter to maybe cut some other things out that are real tight. You could use the gripper to pull off some of those black things that are on the back of them. And then you pull out your screwdriver right here, flip it over, set it to, uh, you know, whatever size you need and undo the battery. You get to be like the hero. They're all like, oh, that's cool. You, you know, and then you get to pull out your Leatherman. Um, also a nice thing is that, uh, you have to check out your local laws or whatever, but um, most of the time uh, it's considered a tool as opposed to a knife. So, um, you know, check your laws. I'm not trying to give legal advice or anything, but um, if you claim that you're, you know, that this is a tool, uh, you know, because it really is a tool, um, you know, in areas where you might get in trouble carrying something maybe like just a knife, um, and you could justify that you use this every day, which y you will, um, then uh, that might be a, an added advantage to it for somebody. So that's it. Hopefully uh, this review was helpful. If you have any questions on it, let me know. Uh, like I said, I always have it on me. So uh, I'll be glad to uh, try to help anything out and answer. Now i got to clean up my mess of parts that just kind of fell apart on me. I don't know, maybe I'll keep some of these little things. I don't know. But that was cool you caught that live. So uh, have a good one. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.